OK, so if you've been having trouble with OneDrive on Windows 10 or Windows 11, this guide is going to show you a possible easy fix for it. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So today I'm having trouble with OneDrive. As you can see in the icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I have got a cross in the bottom right hand corner of the OneDrive cloud. This indicates that there is a problem somewhere. Now, now it might not be a critical problem, but nevertheless, it is still a problem. Now I'm going to show you a command that should fix most problems with OneDrive. So let's just have a look at the problem. So I'm going to move my mouse over it, left click once. And as you can see there, it says there is a sync issue in OneDrive. Click to learn more about this this issue and how to resolve it. So let's just click where it says the message there. And as you can see here, quite a common error that's coming up at the moment. It says personal vault .lnk. This item name or type isn't allowed. Please rename the item or remove it from your OneDrive. Now, this is very weird because this is a OneDrive system created file that's been put on there. So I don't really know why it suddenly said there's a problem with it. I can't actually see a problem with it, but OneDrive is reporting there is a problem. So what do we do? Well, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to locate the Windows key on our keyboard. That's usually in the bottom row of keys on the keyboard, usually between the CTRL and ALT key. If you've got a laptop, it may well be, be between the FN key and the ALT key, but it's certainly on the left hand side of your keyboard on the bottom row of keys on your keyboard. So locate that, hold your finger down on that. And with another spare finger, tap the letter R, R for Romeo. Then you should see this run box appear. So let go of the Windows key. Delete out whatever is in the run box, if there's anything in there. And then you need to type in this command. And that is percentage sign, local app data percentage sign. That's all in lowercase and no spaces. Backslash Microsoft with a capital M. Backslash one with a capital O and then drive with a capital D. Again, no spaces between these two. Backslash, all in lowercase and no spaces. One drive, full stop, E, X, E. And then you want to put in a space and then it's a forward slash. And then the word reset, all in lowercase and no space. So that is percent sign local app data percent sign backslash Microsoft with a capital M backslash OneDrive with a capital O and a capital D backslash OneDrive dot exe, all in lowercase space forward slash reset, all in lowercase and no spaces. And then all you've got to do is click on the OK button. That is a left click. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to reset OneDrive for you and hopefully clear out any issues. So let's give it a try. So I'm going to click on OK. Now, if you get this message come up on the screen saying Windows cannot find OneDrive, make sure you've typed the name correctly, then try again, just like I've got on mine. Then what we're going to do is I'm just going to click on OK to get rid of the message. Then hopefully the run box should have reappeared at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. If it hasn't, then again, hold down the Windows key and then tap the letter R and then let go of the Windows key. Delete out whatever's in it. And then you and then you want to type C colon backslash program with a capital P space files with a capital F backslash Microsoft with a capital M space and then OneDrive or one word with a capital O and a capital D backslash OneDrive all in lowercase dot exe space forward slash and then the word reset and then click on OK. Now, if it still comes back saying that it's not found, then what you need to do is where you've got program files just there, 
after the C. You just tap in there, click in there, and then put a space in, open brackets, and put in there X86, close brackets, and then click on OK. So it should say C colon backslash program with a capital P space, files with a capital F space, open bracket, small x, 86, close bracket, backslash Microsoft with a capital M space, OneDrive, all one word with a capital O and a capital D, backslash OneDrive, all in lowercase, dot exe, space, forward slash reset, all in lowercase. And then again, just click on OK. Now, what we should see is we should see OneDrive close down. It just did on the icon there and then open up again and then hopefully resync. Now, it might close down a couple of times and open up again. It's not going to have to fully resync, hopefully. But as you can see now, I've got the little sync icon on the screen by the cloud and OneDrive has actually opened up in full on the screen. I can close that down and it says here, we're resetting. Go ahead and keep working on your files while we reset. Your files will save to your local disk and upload to OneDrive after the reset. So as you can see there, I've got about 18,000 files on there. So that figure is going down as it's processing all of the changes. So that's going to take a little while. OK, so it's taken its time, but it's nearly finished processing all the changes. And there you go. It's recreated the personal vault link and it says that the reset is complete and your OneDrive is as good as new. But for me, it hasn't solved the problem. I've still got that problem. So what do I do next? So it's let's just click on where it says there is a sync issue issue just to see what the problem is. Yeah, OK, so it says it isn't allowed. Now, if you don't use the personal vault and you've got this same message, then just make sure you've clicked on there is a sync issue. And if you've got this here, then just double click on where it says this item name or type isn't allowed. And then it should come up. And then, like I say, if you don't use the personal vault and you can check if you use it or not just by double clicking on it, and if you get this come up with the wizard trying to guide you through setting it up, then you don't use it. So just click on the cross just up in the top right hand corner of that box and then just delete that file there. So just right click on it and then left click on the delete icon. Or if you haven't got a delete icon, left click on delete. And there you go, it's gone. And hopefully the error, there you go, the error has now gone from OneDrive 2. So if you've had a problem with OneDrive and this hasn't helped you, but you've found another way of repairing the problem, then let us know what your problem was and how you repaired it in the comments down below. This would really help other users fix OneDrive issues.